In the previous video, we converted a solo guitar piece written as standard notation into tablature. In this video, we'll learn how to recognize and edit music already written in tablature form. We'll initiate a new session by first pushing the Recognize button in the upper toolbar or from the Navigator palette. The PDF file that's selected is converted to a TIFF image, saved, then opened in SmartScore's Image Editor. This music contains two staff lines, one in standard notation and the other is tablature. It should be noted the Guitar Edition will not be able to handle this score since it contains more than one staff line. Both Songbook and Pro Editions would be able to process this score. The image editor does allow you to remove one or more parts by selecting, then deleting an unwanted part, leaving only the part you wish to process. Remember to edit each system one at a time, including all subsequent pages. Pushing the Recognition button will save the changes you've made to the image file. For music containing tablature, move to the Options area of the window. We want to deselect Recognition of Text and click the Recognize Tablature checkbox. Select Begin Recognition to start the process. Accepting the defaults, we see the familiar split screen. Looking at the lower pane, the Smart Score or ENF pane shown in white, we can see how both the notation staff and the tablature staff were well recognized. The music is now ready to edit. The pink measures suggest some timing issues in the beginning measures. A pair of half notes in the secondary voice was mistaken as a whole note. We use Quick Select holding the control button down while clicking on a nearby object to select a half note. Hitting the C key lets us click the whole note, changing it to a half note, and with the Z key we drop in another note to the cluster. The quarter note in on B in this other cluster technically belongs to the secondary red voice. We'll remove it from the cluster and drop in a quarter note at the same spot. Now we'll take a closer look at the tab staff and learn how to edit string fingerings. Selecting the magnifying glass lets us zoom in with left click. Zoom out with right. To edit tab fingerings, you must be in insert mode. Select this icon in the toolbar or just hit the C key. You will also need to select a note value. With your mouse, hover over a string aligned with an existing cluster of fingerings. A gray dot appears when you're in the sweet spot. Left click to activate the edit box. To quick select any note, hold the control button down and left click on a nearby note. Here again we will locate a misread fingering on the first string. Hover, click, and enter the correct value from the numbers on the keyboard. Well, there you have it, your basic tab editing functionality and playback. Here we'll play together both the notation and the tab staves. Let's mute the notation staff.